Hey everybody, welcome back to the Words of Life Daily Bible Reading Channel. Today is day 238 in our Read the Bible in a Year plan, and we'll be reading today 2 Corinthians chapters 4 and 5. Let's dive right in. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Therefore, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced disgraceful, underhanded ways. We refuse to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word, but by the open statement of the truth, we would commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body of the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith according to what has been written, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we also speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that as grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 for we know that if the tent that is our earthly home is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, if indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So, whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. We are not com commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to boast about us, so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who, for their sake, died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. 
Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. All right, that wraps up our reading for today, 2 Corinthians chapters 4 and 5. And there is a ton to unpack in there. And I was impacted a little bit myself just by reading through it. And here are just a couple of thoughts I'd love to share with you. Uh, Chapter 4, uh, verses 16 and 17, near the end of the chapter there, Paul said, So we do not lose heart. That though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day, for this light momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Then he went on to say, For the things that are unseen are eternal. And then in uh, near the end of chapter 5, he talked about how that anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old has passed away. You know, there's a lot of, of suffering in this world, and we often find ourselves broken, uh, physically broken, emotionally broken, mentally broken at times. And it's both comforting and humbling to read what Paul and a lot of other Christians went through in service of Jesus to the degree we don't even understand what that even means today, especially in America, where we have so much liberty and so uh, many freedoms. Uh, But to be able to not lose heart when we find ourselves in these situations and then to have the reverse effect, to renew our inner self every day. Um, what a great blessing that is. Sometimes we, we realize that we don't really like who we are. We don't like ourselves. And that causes a lot of people to react differently. But I know, and I have at times in my life, I've just realized, I've looked at myself in the mirror and said, I don't, I don't really like who I am. I don't like how I act. I don't like how I treat people. Um, but Knowing that it is possible to change gives us great hope, while at the same time giving us tremendous thanks uh, for grace. Uh, So with that in mind, uh, extend grace today. Uh, Extend grace to yourself. Forgive yourself. Uh, If you find yourself in a position where you're not feeling great about who you are, lean on Jesus, read the word. It can and will transform you if you put your faith and trust in God. And with that hope, take it to the world and hopefully find somebody to lift up today. May God bless you, and we will hopefully see you tomorrow.